everyone, it's Teacher Sarah. In this video, we are going to learn how to make your artwork presentable online. If you don't have a scanner or a camera, don't worry, because your cell phone is enough to make your artwork look awesome. Tip number one, use daylight. Try to shoot near a window during the daytime, because natural light is best for taking photos of artworks. Tip number two, Avoid shadow and dark corners. If you don't have a daylight source, you can use a desk lamp. However, make sure that the lamp is placed either on the opposite side or below your phone. Tip number three. Hold your phone parallel to your artwork to avoid distortion. Tip number four, make it clear and bright. Tap the screen to make sure that the image is clear. You can also adjust the brightness to lighten the artwork. Stabilize the phone and take the shot. Tip number five, if the lighting doesn't work out for you, use Snapseed to edit your photos. You can download Snapseed from the App Store or Google Play Store. Here's how you can edit on Snapseed. The first thing that we want to do is open the file. Look for the best photo of your artwork. And make sure that it's in the right orientation. You can use the Rotate tool for that. Now, I'm going to use the Selective tool to improve the dark corners of my artwork, starting with the brightness, and then the structure. The structure will kind of smooth in out the rough areas. Now, I would just like to repeat that for the corners, because they appear to be very dark. You can also adjust the saturation if there's a little bit of yellow tones or blue tones that might be distracting. Okay, now to improve the quality of the colors, you can also add some points on top of your artwork and improve the saturation and improve the brightness. If you want to improve a certain color, you can drag the points. If you want to increase the contrast, you can do that as well. Now, we can also make use of the tool Tune Image to adjust the contrast and saturation, as well as the highlights if you think that the paper still needs to be lighter. To center your artwork, you can use the Crop tool and adjust it accordingly. Now we're done! I hope this tutorial helped you make your artworks look presentable online. I look forward to seeing you in my next class. Bye!